Yeah, and the overnight sh the overnight crew is so important because they do a little bit of everything. They come in, sometimes they're pulling off briskets, um, they're putting on pork ribs, beef ribs, turkey and sausage. They're pulling all of that and sometimes they're putting on briskets too. So they touch a little bit of all the products that, uh, all the meat that goes across the counter. Yeah, you know, barbecue, it's a labor of love. Um, and to do it seven days a week and be open a.m. and p.m., uh, that really separates us from a lot of the others. There's a lot of people that, that can't do that, you know, that won't do that, um, but we're willing to, to put the, uh, the labor into it and, and just grind uh, so that we can you know, put out a consistent product seven days a week. We're open 11 o'clock to 9 or 9.30, depending on the day and we have food throughout the whole day. So it's a 24 hour operation here. Uh, we only shut the doors on Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day and we're back the next day cooking. So we separate ourselves by the hours that we're open and the quality that we do consistently through those hours. Not many places can say they put out the quality we do um, all hours of the day. Nine and a half hours into our cook, to get the bark just where we want it. You go up to the block, and you see a nice thick black bark on the brisket. It takes about nine hours to get that right. Yeah. Well, that bark stiffens up here, and you touch it, you can kind of feel how crusty it is, that kind of single layer of bark. It takes about nine, nine and a half hours to get the bark just where we want it. As these briskets sweat, that fat turns to liquid, it rises to the surface of the brisket, combines with that pepper, smokes attract the moisture, so the combination of those three builds up that bark. The bark will tell you when it's time to wrap and also how jiggly that is. And you always want to be careful to lift it so you don't split the bark there, which is easy to do. We do a nice Tight wrap here. Sometimes the smaller ones are a little. More difficult to wrap. Uh, when we first started, uh, we, we started at 4 a.m. in the morning and we'd run till 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, in the morning and production just ramped up. Uh, we needed to get things on faster, we needed to get you know, more meat on, so we started cooking throughout the night. Um, so now we've got a crew that comes in at 11 p.m. and works till 9 a.m. and then crews that come in you know, after that as well. So the, the overnight shift is very important to us in getting all the meat on time and getting enough meat on. Um, to meet, you know, the capacity needs that we have.